Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. I just kind of wanted to show you guys around my room a little bit. This way you guys can see what I'm doing like to prepare for surgery. Um, it's just different little things that I've done for my family to make things easier caring for my pets and stuff of that nature. And then like medical stuff that I have all set up just to make things easier on myself and my mom because she's my main caregiver. I just want to make things literally as easy as possible. I'm also really independent, I guess you could say. Like, I like to be able to do stuff on my own. So I'm hoping having things set up that it'll just make stuff easier for everybody. And I want to reduce stress as much as I possibly can. I know there's only so much stress reduction you can really do. It's still going to be a stressful season. But hopefully these little things will help. And hopefully if you're having surgery, some of these will inspire you and help you to figure out what will work for you. And yeah, so let me know in the comments. Um, all right, so here's the first thing. This is not really something like particular just for surgery. This is what I do all of the time. Um, the meds on the left hand side over here, these are morning meds. This is my afternoon steroid dose and over here are just uh, my evening medications and I just find that this system works the best for me. Um, I do also have like the pill organizers but having them up like this especially for after surgery it'll be easier to keep track of what's taken and what has not been. So and it's easy access this way if somebody needs to get it for me they can quite easily. Next I have a drawer with several snack items. Um, so we got pretzels, Twizzlers, granola bars, fruit snacks, gummy bears, um, and granola bite. So we have black teas and sleepy time tea. And I have a hot water maker coming to make it easier for me to make tea up here. All right, so in this drawer, I have shower wipes and all like shower essentials or like dry shower essentials, I guess there's for lack of a better word. Um, so these have like everything I need for one shower, so to speak. I know it's not really a shower, but you know, I don't really know what to call it. I guess like what, like a sponge bath? <laughs> Um, but that has like all the wipes that I would need and then like this one has stuff for like um, my hair and everything in it and then I'm going to just throw in like the dry shampoo and all that good stuff into this drawer when I come home and then these are extra bath wipes of course and I have like I showed you guys in another video we have these which are face wipes that will go in that drawer once I'm home as well because I am bringing them with me. I am absolutely crazy, so I already have water <laughs> for the pets, and a nice little note. I have everything labeled, this way there are no questions, and this is extra dry food for Sadie, and then I have catnip, more water. So I know Abby's not going to like eat a lot, so I have these treats out for her for the evenings, which can go in her ball, and I'm hoping that she'll decide to, you know, have a couple of them, even if she's not eating a ton of kibble. I thought there was something else. Where'd your lotion go? Then over here I have cat treats. These need to stay in the closet though. They cannot be like super easy access for anybody because my cat will eat them. And then we got saline, super easy to be pulled. And then like extra bath stuff and everything. And then extra medications and extra lotions and you know, shampoos and more toiletries and all that good stuff. I also have vitamins like, um, sorted out. I've been using vitamin patches, which I've mentioned on here before, and I have them all sorted out in Ziplocs. And then in my suitcase, um, I'm mainly using like multivitamin D. Um, and then I have like my sleep patches. And then there's like one or two others that like, I'm just basically finishing up. And I figured my body could probably use like the extra support, like right after surgery. So and this is like really hard to see, but I have a lap desk here. Let me pull it out this way y'all can kind of see it. That's my lap desk. And I feel like it'll be really helpful after surgery. It's my big pillow, which I showed you guys in another video. 
and then some extra pillows which I want to keep like right by the bed just for easy access. Got more pillows and blankets over here because like I said I do have the tendency to get cold. And then in here is like my little craft bucket. So I'm actually a writer too. So that's why there are journals. I'm not even sure if you can tell that they're journals, but there are a couple journals cause I'm working on some stuff. Um, my like bullet journal overflow. I have a string art, which it says bless or it really says bless this mess, but the bless is the part that you do the string art with. And I've got, of course, yarn. And then these are just cards. And then the other crafts that I have are in my duffel bag to take with me. Okay, so over here I have all Abby's food measured out for seven days because I don't know how long I'll be gone. I do have other food like measured out, I think for about 20 days but that's what's over here. And then I have the girls food for dinner, again, enough for seven days, just to be on the safe side. And then this is the downstairs dry food that's in the kitchen with extra. Right, and then I have this little box that is gonna be on my nightstand with like some essentials, just in case. We have Motrin and Tylenol. This has um, stool softener and laxatives because you never know and then I have some uh, more of the dry mouth drops some hair ties because I like my hair back especially when I don't feel good chapstick more chapstick this is anti-diarrhea medicine because like I said you never know some gas x Pepsid. lots and lots of Zofran and then I need to just put some Imatrux in here just to be on the safe side. Alright, so this bag here is generally hanging in my closet, but I took it out obviously to show you guys. So I have like infusion bags ready. So this is everything that I need to infuse a bag of saline. It's got tubing, some flushes, and some heparin, and alcohol swabs. So it's everything that I need. Batteries. I already have like two bags, I think, of saline in my infusion book bag, and that's all ready to roll. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye!